Alrighty, we have a construction update for Yukon Striker today, and honestly, every day I go now, it feels like something's done. Um, the updates are going to be posted a little later in the days now, because I like flying later in the day to get an overall view of what's going on. Um, so in the track storage lot, um, again, I'm pretty far away, they are loading the rest of the implement onto flatbeds that'll then probably be brought into the park tomorrow morning, and you'll see why later on in the video. And then they'll assemble probably the rest of the Immelman tomorrow and Friday. If I were to take a guess, um, the entire Immelman may be able to be done by Friday. Um, if it's not the entire Immelman, it'll be the part where it starts to pull out of the actual inversion. That should be done by Friday. So um, going up as I fly up, if you look very closely, you'll notice something. Uh, some of you already may know what Wonderland has done today or the construction team. Um, but a lot of you probably don't. So the Immelman has started. Um, it's the crane's a little in the way now. I'll get a better angle in just a sec. But I'll get to um, a bit of the other a bit of the construction before I get to the Immelman. So based off of what I'm seeing here, not too much has been going on in that flat bit of land over by Timberwolf. Um, the sheet piles are all in place. They've dug it out. And we're just waiting for the actual footings to be dug. Um, that is a very simple process, and looking this far up, we can't see that. So for all we know, there are holes in place, and I'll find out on Saturday morning for you guys. But uh, based off of first glance, there's nothing, no cement tracks, nothing poured in that area. Um, but I'll have a look. There is some weird generator in the actual sheet pile dugout area down there. So I'll have a look Saturday, see if I can see anything. But, but at this point you're probably noticing the giant Immelman taking form coming out of the tunnel. So they got one support beam in, got two pieces of the Immelman coming out, and um, they actually have a V-frame ready to go up. It's assembled if you look really closely. I'll get closer shots in just a little later in the video. So if you're stuck, if you stick around, you can actually see them fiddling around with the A-frame or V-frame, sorry, um, near the end of the video. Um, so... Uh, oh, if you guys haven't stayed updated <laughs> and you're looking at this video right now and you're going, whoa, when did the drop and lift get done? The drop and lift for Yukon Striker is complete um, and it is massive. Honestly, some of the best views of Yukon Striker are from outside of the park. Seriously, I mean that. If you're on Jane Street, this thing looks impressive. Go to the corner of Jane and Major Mac. If that's not good enough, if you're on the 400, and you're not driving, aka don't drive and look, but um, this thing looks impressive from the 400 as well. Or if you're coming through that Wonderland Drive off of Rutherford, this thing looks impressive. The setting of Behemoth and Yukon Striker together is absolutely gorgeous. I'm actually working on a calendar of the construction of Yukon Striker, and the shots that I'm getting from different angles around the park are so impressive. I hope you guys really like it. Um, but that aside, this looks absolutely impressive. Look how massive that pull out of the drop is from the east and west side of Yukon Striker. It's absolutely insane. Um, so at this point, you can probably see a bit of the V-frame sitting there in the grass. It's really hard to spot because it almost blends in with the grass. But you'll see them fiddling around with it in just a bit. In fact, I didn't realize they were fiddling around with it until I was getting ready to land. Um, but through the entire process, they were like lifting it, moving it. So what that tells me is actually you can see them lifting it right now. The A-frame, uh, V-frame, sorry, it is not an A-frame. The V-frame support structure is going to be installed tomorrow. Then the two pieces of track will be installed. So that's about half of the Immelman, if not a little more, um, installed tomorrow. And then on Friday, they'll finish it off. So it'll be inverted, hopefully, if all goes well and weather is good. I know Friday's supposed to rain, so fingers crossed. But by Friday, because they usually install about two pieces a day, as seen here, you have the support structure and two pieces installed, um, it should be inverted. Uh, it won't be complete by Friday, um, but it will be mostly complete, more than three quarters of the way. So we should get some really good angles on Saturday, our last weekend of operation. Um, I'm debating getting a ticket to Halloween Haunt for Wednesday, um, because I, it's the last day I'll even be able to be in the park, and... I would love to get, you know, some last in-park footage 
before they close. I know we're going to have some behind the scenes tours um, in November and then closer to when it's opening. So that will be awesome. So yeah, not much else has been going on. I know that they've been fiddling around in the Lift Hill area. Uh, they got the catwalk, half of the catwalks installed up top. They still have that one outer turn portion that needs to go in. And obviously they're working on the railings. There's been one guy welding all the railings in for the lift hill, getting them all done. So that's super cool. And uh, you also have the separate team um, from the electrical company that they've hired. They're on site next to Mindbuster, uh, installing all the electrical work for Yukon Striker in the station area. So they've been working on the transfer track, the housing stations, the station area. And uh, the actual storage building itself. So the storage shed. And then you have some guy that I've seen on weekends, even working Saturday some days, working down underneath the lift hill in that little generator area. I don't know if he works at Wonderland or with Wonderland, but there's usually one guy working down in that area. So they're definitely in a hurry to get this thing ready. I don't know what that means um, in terms of thing, but it looks like Yukon Striker and Copperhead Strike are scheduled to be complete construction by the end of December, which is impressive. So um, a lot of you in my other video were commenting on these speakers on top of the lift hill and saying that they're probably just for the lift spiel. And I wanted to update you guys that that's not the case. Uh, the lift spiel is not going to take place uh, right before the drop. And no other dive coaster other than Baron has speakers at the top of the lift hill on the pre-drop and the actual holding rig. So these speakers are definitely for theming. Um, I think it's pretty obvious. And they're not for the lift spiel. The fact that they have the speakers on the actual drop portion versus the lift hill um, tells you a lot. And actually, Cedar Fair has been heading in a direction of not necessarily having lift spiels on all of their coasters. I know there's a couple coasters now that don't have lift spiels. Um, comment down below if you know what those ones are. But yeah, not too much else going on the, in the land of Yukon Striker. Uh, <laughs> we'll see more in person. So anything in Timberwolf Falls is very hard to see. Uh, and usually I save that up, those updates for my Saturday updates, but those are going to go. So we're going to be relying on the drone through winter up till January. So the drone's going to become very helpful. And I just wanted to say thank you again for always watching these construction updates and sharing them because these are getting really popular. Almost every week, the view count goes up on um, the, the construction updates. So a huge thank you to you guys. So as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. And uh, stay tuned because it looks like we're going to have some Yukon Striker updates uh, going forward a lot. And uh, we're going to keep an eye out for Frontier Canada. <laughs> Anyways, have a good one, guys. Bye.